Let's imagine this situation. You are building your Scrum team who will acquire data, fix data warehouse and build data marts. And you were told that you need a Scrum master who is not a technical person. So how to expect him or her to know much about what your team actually does? And, and you're not sure if they are only supposed to know just Scrum. How can this non-technical Scrum Master help your clear roadblocks if he or she does not understand what your team is talking about so he can remove impediments? In this video, we will talk about if Scrum Master should or shouldn't be a technical person. Let's get started. A Scrum Master has a lot of responsibilities, but if you are talking about Scrum Master who clears roadblocks, you have to understand that those roadblocks are usually not technical roadblocks, but team, organizational or client roadblocks, process roadblocks, interpersonal roadblocks, etc. A Scrum Master can keep your tickets and board perfectly organized, coordinate your change control and exception processes, runs daily stand-ups, make sure that the right people get in the room to resolve issues when they are raised, having an environment free of fear. So I truly believe that Scrum Master should not necessarily be a technical, but he or she does need to have other skills and initiatives. Good Scrum Master is a good negotiator within the organization and has the connections. A good Scrum Master makes sure that team is voicing roadblocks and help facilitate discussions, brainstorming and getting the right people working on it. So, I don't expect a Scrum Master to understand what an architect or senior developers do. They just need to know how the business operates end-to-end. -end. They don't need to know how to code, but they need to have a general understanding of the workflow and the technology involved. The main point here is that Scrum Master should be actively coaching the team on self-organization and management and how to take ownership over resolving roadblocks that are within the control of the team. Let me give you one example. Someone from the team B needs to finish an API update to allow your team to do something. And the Scrum Master does not need to resolve that, but the Scrum Master should be coaching the team on how they could go to the, that team or that person to help resolve the roadblock by either collaborating tighter or helping them finish it. A lot of that takes some maturity in the principles of Scrum. Someone should show him all those ropes like what happened behind the scenes and understand that culture at your workplace and the team dynamics. And then Scrum Master can understand your roadblocks and help removing them. If your team does not know the value a great Scrum Master can bring, you're going to be limited in how well you can coach him on the role. But if you want to help your Scrum Master become even better, Having retrospectives, constructive feedback about how the Scrum Master isn't helping the team throughout the Scrum leadership is probably the best way to help them start understanding what they are missing. The world needs more agile practitioners, which means people that have never done it before need to start doing it. That means those of us with experience need to show them how. So invest the time in them and you will get rewards because the biggest value is empowering the team. Thank you for watching. And if your company plans to empower Scrum Master, check the first link in the description.